Darkwell is a real menace. The way this deck flexes on decks makes it seem broken. A budget deck that shits on all decks, meta or not. This video is a little taste of the BS crap our new budget weapon can produce. This is our Christmas gift from Konami. A deck ranging from $30 to $70 that rivals the fear and hate elements in folk. I personally rather play against elements any day of the week than this deck. As you can see, even bestials are having a hard time slowing down this deck. My joy for this deck stems from the fact that effects are not once per turn. Ah yes, old school Yu-Gi-Oh at the best. Can we take a moment and talk about these flexi draws? It's just disgusting. Oh my goodness, this deck flex so hard. It leaves the opponent feeling sexually assaulted. I'm on one, what's your emergency? Dark will paired with modern day links and XYZ monsters, you can open up a world of crazy possibilities. Since the new Dark World cards deliver lots of draw power and easy access to a shitload of discard effects, you can easily overwhelm the opponent. You slap dangers into the mix, you can do a lot of broken shit on a consistent level. Let's not even talk about the handle. If you guys thought the first game was flexy, then you are in for a shock. Game 2, the opponent is about to mount a board that destroys any deck relying on monster and grave effects. In honor of the opponent's mental stability, I will take a moment of silence. Nibiru is the combo slayer, Yu-Gi-Oh's very own Madara. Nibiru always gets the job done, after it comes all over your board. There is a saying, ignorance is bliss, but it's sad to say that this isn't the case here. Dark worlds care less about you or your Nibiru. All we want to do is search, draw, combo and repeat. Even after being nibiru the process continues. Talk about flexing. Can we talk about Dark World's fusion monster, which is an omni negate that triggers both Dark World monsters' effect and has a farewell effect run out? Oh my goodness, this is crazy! The fusion card is a quick play that breaks board, extend plays, and triggers Dark World monsters' effect. If this deck wasn't budget, I would have hated it so much. Put power to the people. With silver in hand, the fusion negates and straight up rips the opponent two cards from their hand. If you want to see more craziness from this deck, check out this video. Deck profile in the description.